Okay, you're live. Awesome. Hello. Welcome, everybody, to 10 Minutes Live, uh, Laptop Live. We always want to bring one of our very famous, popular, awesome icons. You know, we continue to thrive and bring you guys some great uh, people here. And I've got no other than Sherry Johnson. Hello, Sherry, all the way from Ohio. She's a real estate coach. She's a consultant. She's just all these things I read about you, Sherry. Wow. That's all I could say. How are you today? Oh, I am awesome. Thank you for having me. Exciting absolutely. to be here. With you. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, thank you for coming. First of all, it's such a privilege to talk to uh, someone at this level. I always get to learn something of the other. So uh, I'm excited. I'm excited for this uh, 10 minutes with you, the 10 minutes I get to spend with you. <laughs> awesome. I love okay. it. Thank you for the opportunity. Absolutely. So let's dive right into it. Um, let me ask you this. What has been your biggest challenge during COVID? Um, you kind of cut out. What, what What did you say? So what has been your biggest challenge during COVID? Well, um, my, my personal biggest challenge professionally in my world um, mm -hmm. would have to be that I'm not flying and I have not, I'm used to flying every week and speaking all over the country. And so what I miss and what the challenge, I guess this hasn't been a challenge. We went virtual with live keynotes, yeah. which has been great um, because I get to see my kids more. But as far as that energy that I love to get from seeing people in person, um, both consulting companies around the country, but also mostly the keynote speaking that, I mean, homes.com, you know, Secrets of Top Selling Agents, we did 15 shows a year, 12 oh, to 15. Wow. That's just one area. And then, you know, speaking for companies and speaking to agents all over the country, I just, that's been sort of the, you know, downside, sad side. Um, yeah. For, for the most obvious reason, but. Yeah, yeah. And I totally understand that uh, it's been really hard for networking, right? We're so much, we're all realtors are such a people person, right? And it's so, it's so tough that we don't get that connection right now. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. How have you adjusted your business during this time? Um, I only got half the question, I'm sorry. Uh, no problem. Well, how have you adjusted your business? How have I? How have I what the business? How have you adjusted your business? Adjusted? Well, like we adjusted. So I don't know, four years ago, it'll be four years that I started the coaching company. Um, we were on Zoom coaching agents uh -huh. all over the country. Okay. Um, so that has been, it was kind of easy for us to go completely virtual. Right. Um, you know, some of the things we, we created, some other products, um, uh, a program uh, that we're launching actually January 1st um, that came out of uh, the need from COVID, which is an online 24-7 uh, access to over 60 modules of courses and content for agents to get the coaching uh, and yeah. training that they need at an affordable price. It's, it's uh, actually called playbook. Um, the playbook from Sherry Johnson coaching from our Academy. And so, um, you know, we've adjusted um, like everybody quickly, uh, you know, making the quick, fast decisions, you know, um, I didn't need the office space that I was in. I, although most of my employees are remote, um, we pivoted, we were able to, um, you know, launch better products virtually on an LMS platform. Uh, we partner with uh, McKissick and McKissick Learning and Real Estate Express so that uh, we launched a, a product called 90 Day Bootcamp. Um, there were a lot of things to just plug in immediately. We had kind of been a little bit ahead of the rest of the industry just because we coach people all over the country in different time zones on Zoom. So um, I think what um, what I love most about that is that I had been begging agents because I think we're best realtors. You know, I've had my license for 25 years and I think we are best when we're face to face. And so I think the piece that was missing for years because of digital contracts uh, was, you know, 
send contracts and we didn't see each other to help people make good decisions. And so now we can see them and we can understand them better and have empathy and help them make really good decisions um, about the purchase or sale of their home. So a lot of things changed, but a lot of things we had already been doing um, and just we just were able to get greater uh, buy-in, I think, from all of our customers. I mean, it's just been a crazy year, really, for everybody. Well, yeah. On the real estate side, you know, on the real estate side, we're selling um, a lot of houses and it's been an unbelievable, obviously, crazy year and an unbelievable year for a lot of people. So Yeah, it has been. It has been really crazy good, not crazy good. It has its good and bads for this year. Totally agree with you. So let me ask you this. How do you stay motivated and positive? Well, how do I stay motivated and positive? So I just, I guess, um, I just, I have an inner drive that, um, you know, I, I have this sort of boil the ocean philosophy. Mm -hmm. um, I have so much to do and so many great things to accomplish for other people that uh, that, that just drives me literally yeah. and always has you know i used to manage 750 agents um before i went into coaching and and wow. i had 13 businesses and i can tell you that every single day like in my former uh, occupation as a as a uh, an executive for a very large company you know now it's the same feeling i wake up every single day inspired by my two kids and um i i want to inspire them but i also want to help as many people as possible have the life that they deserve to have. And so it, what keeps me motivated um, is just, you know, being a better coach, being a better resource for people um, and taking our company to another level and trying to help and inspire as many brokers, agents, team leaders, um, all over, just because it's, it, it really is, um, you know, it's great about coaching is we're not making people great we're just bringing out their greatness that they are. Right. That's I didn't come up with, but it's definitely <laughs> rewarding. But motivation is tough because you know I can't motivate a satisfied person. And I guess to answer your question, like the most specifically that I can, I, I feel like I'm always challenged and always trying to just be better. And so <laughs> it's not about like you know staying. Uh, on top of yourself and your own game, but like helping other people. And I just feel like I have a, a serve serving attitude that I can, I just love helping people. I love it. I love when they call me and tell me that they implemented something and they sold 10 houses from it, or they sold, you know, they closed three or four deals that week because of something we taught them. So I love it. It's what keeps I me love motivated. It. I totally feel your energy right through here because I totally get it because I'm the same way. Like I said earlier, I am, you know, uh, so much, so much to that sense, so much like you. I love to see people succeed. And yeah, that is amazing. So what advice would you give newer or less experienced agents? So <clears throat> the, the best advice I can give newer agents or um, less experienced agents, is that what yes. your question was? Yes. You know, um, I would say, first off, it, it has to be, you know, the most successful agents are listing agents. And I know it's crazy, we have shortage of listings, but make your own market, like go get the listings and make it your job uh, to find every possible potential seller uh, that is considering listing. If you know there was a multiple offer, you know, with six six offers on it, there are, you know, one person got the house, five other people are looking for that same property type, go find that listing and I promise you, You'll get the listing side of that and you'll end up getting the deal sold. You know, I mean, it just, we can't be waiting for things. I think um, we have to make it happen. And, and I believe that um, start with a vision, like yeah. I'm going to do 5 million or I'm going to do 10 million, then you can manifest that. But you have to make a decision. That's what you're going to do. And uh, I say it all starts with listings and you know, lastly, I always have to say you have to have a full pipeline of leads. And even if the people are two, you know, two, three, eight months out, six months out, a year or two, put them on your pipeline because they will end up buying from you if you stay with them and maximize that listing because otherwise they will go to somebody else 
and you don't want that. So that's my I totally, totally agree with you. Oh my God. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you, Sherry. I wish I had more time to pick your brain, but I just don't. Um, we're at 10 minutes here. So thank you so much, Sherry, for your time. I appreciate it. Love lab code. Love lab code. Yep. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. Bye, Sherry. Bye-bye.